so in this section i will be showing you how you could protect your tags so first of all you need to go to repository click there and then find protected tag so once you go to protected tags you can actually see if there is any rule applied or not so in our case we don't have any so therefore we will create a new tag so we give it a name and this tag is going to be created from main branch as you can see we need to pass in a message and we can put some relevant message and in the release node we can put relevant information related to that release so you can say some bug fixes so by the way the tag we are creating is annotated tags we will create tag so click on that create tag button that will create the tag right so we get a nice little summary so if you go to your test project then you can see one tag has been created and if you click on here you can see also the tag name so if you go to release you can get also nice little summary there and if you want to create new release you can just click on the green button so let's get back to the protected tag section click on settings repository protected tags and from there we are gonna protect our tags right so you could change from maintainers to developers plus maintainers but it's not a good practice to do so and from the drop down we choose version 1.0.1 now we are ready to go and we can click on product that will protect our tags that particular tags we could also do it other way around like instead of going for a particular tag we could actually protect tags using wildcard here in the documentation you can see we could also use wildcard protect tags because that's what we should be doing because that will protect our tags if we start with some particular character that actually have a match so that will get protected so in our case we have b asterisk means any tag starting with b should be protected right what goes after v we don't really care so the first character we are checking is the v so now if we get pull we should be able to see the tag right so our tag is actually downloaded to our local repository so if you run git tag this will list all the tags available in your repository right so we got we got one tag so if you run minus l or minus dash dash list actually these three commands do the same thing so you get the output of tags right so now if you want to see more information about the particular tag then you can run git show in our case we have only one tag and we can see some meta information right we can get the tagger who did the tagging and which commit was part of this tag right excellent so now if we want to delete this particular tag from our remote repository are we gonna be able to do that actually not it's because we have protected our tags right we do not want to get our tag deleted accidentally right if someone accidentally wants to delete then we don't want that we want to protect it that's the whole idea so as you can see one matching tag is actually gets protected is because we wanted to protect our tags right i wanted to delete but i could not delete it even though i was a maintainer right if you click on wildcard you can get information about tag so tag actually has two section one was who are allowed to create or delete tags and about the rule each rule allows you to match either an individual tag name or wildcards so in our case we are protecting our tags using wildcard right so this feature actually evolved out of protected branches because that's the same concept you have seen because we did not want to overwrite our commit history in our protected branches right because we were protecting the branches and we did not allow allow force push there so now if we want to delete this tag from our local repository we are going to be able to do so it's because we are not protecting any local tags right we are protecting the remote one that's the whole idea deleting tags from the cli actually you can run at least three or four different commands to do so but here i am trying to actually show you also in the cli but end of the day these commands are doing the same thing it's trying to actually delete that particular tag tag from the remote repository and it's not allowed right we are not allowed to delete it because that's what we have said in the role so i tried and i couldn't we can delete a local tag using minus d flag so in this case git tag minus d and then the tag name here eventually that would delete the local tag but if you want to delete the remote tag then we need to run this command git push origin colon wraps slash tag slash the tag name so this is one of the ways to delete the remote repository tag but we are not allowed right so if you read the output on the console carefully it would output remote 
GitLab product tags cannot be deleted, which means that GitLab is telling us, hey, I'm sorry, I cannot delete this product tag. So now if I run git tag, it doesn't output any tag because we have deleted local tag, right? So we want to get it back. So in this case, we need to run git pull or git fetch. So that would download git tag from the remote repository. Just a little bit correction, git fetch would actually download, but git pull would also do the download, but it will fetch and merge. So it actually does two things, which fetch doesn't. As I said, there are many ways. You could also run git push origin dash dash delete the typical way we do it and then the tag name so this is another way of deleting a branch or a tag so that was the whole test about the protected tag i think you understand if you want to delete it you need to unprotect it from the ui then you should be able to do that if you want to do that check out like a branch you are allowed to do that so that is what was on my agenda in this section i hope you get the whole idea if you have any questions let us know down below in the video comment section so we'll try to reach you out and uh, if there is any question about uh, this particular demo let us know as well we would be really glad to to know your feedback give this video a thumbs up if you like the video and if you have not subscribed to my channel and if you're new to this particular channel subscribe to the channel so that you get notified before everyone else when i publish new videos thanks for watching see you in the next one and stay safe